Hello dear members and welcome to a new edition of HD Global News. Today, the Hyojong Changwon Complex unveils True Mother's heartfelt desire to realize the ideal of one united human family under God, our Heavenly Parent. She recently participated in the inauguration ceremonies of the Flower and Bird Garden and the Gapyong Cruise Board and blessed them as a place where the original dream of Heavenly Parent can be realized. In this edition of HG Global News, we will take a look at these recent activities of True Mother. The official opening of the Gapyong Begonia Bird Garden and the inaugural departure of the Gapyong Cruise took place on a beautiful Sunday adorned with stunning flowers. Accompanied by members of the True family and leaders of HJ Chanwon Complex, True Mother first visited the Gapyong Begonia Bird Park. Kapion Begonia hosts flowers, birds and animals that, through their natural beauty, express the heart of Heavenly Parent. It includes both indoor and outdoor spaces. The visit began with the encounter with alpacas and boa coats. True Mother was delighted to visit this place where it's possible to feed animals along with her great-grandchildren. True Mother then moved to the main building, which houses the flowers and bird zones. She was warmly welcomed by the staff and enjoyed a show featuring parrots, birds of prey and clever border collies, which highlighted the interaction between animals and humans. Upon entering the flower zone, the ceiling filled with hanging flowers and colorful begonias captured everyone's attention. In the bird zone, containing about 40 different bird species, visitors had the time to interact with the birds in this harmonious space, integrated with nature. Trumada then headed to Gapyong Marina. After being warmly welcomed by a fanfare, she proceeded to the third floor of the marina for a banquet. Dr. Song Yeon Chon offered a representative prayer expressing a fervent wish that all the visitors of Gapyong Begonia and Gapyong Cruise, prepared with care by True Mother, might experience the heart of the Heavenly Parent. <laughs> Reverend Song Gwang Sok, National Leader of Korea, led a victorious toast to celebrate the grand opening of the sailing of the cruise. After the banquet, the attending leaders shared their impressions, expressing joy and gratitude. At the time of departure, Trumada received salutations from the captain and boarded the Gapion cruise. The 440 Gapion cruise, the first eco-friendly ship in Korea, licensed for wide area navigation in Gyeonggi-do and Gangwon-do, is set to become a new attraction in the Pukan River area through this launch. As the boat left the marina and smoothly sailed along the Pukan River, a cultural performance ensued. The young Igayong charmingly sang a popular Korean song adapted for the day, and Mr. Choi Chang Woo, director of Sonak Historical Compilation Institute, also sang to celebrate the occasion. Guests then moved to the outdoor terrace to enjoy the beautiful night on the Pukan River with saxophone and vocal performances. Over 1,000 participants from the HJ Heaven and Earth Chonbo Training Center gathered by the riverbank, shouting True Mother, we love you, and celebrated the launch of the Gapion Cruise. The light show at the Gapion Marina, combined with beautiful performances, created a spectacular scene with colorful lights embellishing the dark night sky.
Together with Chumada the Center, the attending leaders and over 1,000 trainees from the HJ Heaven and Earth Jumbo Training Center enjoyed the grand finale of the light show, beautifully concluding the grand opening and the launch ceremonies. Now let's turn our attention to some of the activities conducted around the world as part of the Providence. In Korea, the 12th year of the Cheonnegok Hanshik Ceremony at Paju Wonjong was attended by more than 200 people, including members of the True Family, elder brothers and sisters, as well as leaders of providential organization and church leaders. The participants paid homage in turn to the members of the True Family and the elder brothers and sisters who have entered the spiritual world after a life of sacrifice. Reverend Song Gwan Sok, the National Leader of Korea, in his representative prayer, urged everyone to fulfill their responsibilities so that the noble and sublime sacrificial lives of the children of the true family and the elders can shine. Dr. Song Yeon-chun, President of Family Federation, then gave a commemorative speech reflecting on the hard work of the members of the true family and elders who took the path of sacrifice. <laughs> Subsequently, all participants visited the tombs of the true family members, then those of the elder brothers and sisters. They committed to being inspired by their sacrificial life of loyalty and filial piety towards God and true parents in order to ensure the success of Vision 2025. The Peace Road 2024 for the peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula was held at the Paju Im Jin Gak with the attendance of over 100 youth students from 10 Central American countries and leaders from various sectors. Song Kwan Sok, the 2024 Peace Road Korea co-chairman, in his welcome speech expressed that the reunification of Korea would come even more quickly with everyone's support. Mr. Hwang Song Jo, chairman of the National Unification Movement of Korea, emphasized his conviction that peace on the Korean Peninsula and world peace would come through everyone's sincerity and dedication. Mr. Carlos Hernandez, the 2024 Peace Road Central American co-chair, and his address wished fervently for the unification of the Korean Peninsula. Following that, the Miran Loredo de Souza, a representative of the Central American youth, read a powerful peace message. The Central American youth students longing for peaceful unification participated eagerly in the peace march, ringing the bell and heading towards the memorial, earnestly wishing for the peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula. Subsequently, the Central American youth students visited the original church headquarters in Chompadong, Seoul, where they learned about the providential events that took place there and had a valuable time inheriting the heart of the true parents. The pilgrimage to the Holy Land for inheriting the heavenly fortune continues, and this time the members of the Piontech Church participated. It was a precious opportunity to express the heart of the true parents by revisiting the original church site, where the holy wedding of true parents, the blessing group ceremonies of the 36 couples and 72 couples were held, and where the true parents' day and God's day were proclaimed. In heavily North America, the Family Federation and the Chun Shim Won in unity sparked a revival through the Blue Dragon Tour held in Dallas. People gathered with Pastor John Jackson warmly welcomed President Damien Dunklin and were reborn through lectures about the truth of the providence and the heart of True Mother. In addition, through the Chanyang sessions and a special Chan Shim Wan vigil prayer meeting, participants repented and gained vitality. 
During the Easter period, the family members felt closer to Heavenly Parent and true parents, especially true mother, and shared that they felt as if they had been resurrected and their hearts were lighter. In Canada, youth leaders, heavily top commissionaries and second-generation youth from Toronto and Montreal conducted a workshop. Participants listened to messages from youth leaders, shared testimonies and discussed strengthening their solidarity as second generation. Additionally, they built fellowship and exchanged heartfelt feelings through sports activities in nature. As part of his tour, original President Hori Masaichi of Heavenly Asia Pacific visited India. Regional President Hori delivered an inspiring keynote speech at the launch event of the Peacemaker Club at Delhi University and had a dinner with South Asian Chair of IAPP. Puba Neswa Kalita and other UPF VIPs like Khalida Baba sharing news and the vision of True Parents. Furthermore, a special Sunday service celebrating the Festival of Colors was held with over a hundred members attending, conveying the love and heart of true parents in a festive atmosphere. Later, he participated in the 1000 Chan Shimon Vigil Prayer broadcast live from Korea in the Chan Shimon Prayer Room in India and spent time offering prayers and devotion for the restoration of India while visiting holy and historical sites in India. Regional President Hori Masaichi arrived in Nepal to share the special holy star from the Death Valley given by True Mother. Approximately 120 participants, including Nepalese religious leaders, ambassadors for peace, blessed families and youth, attended the ceremony. Regional President Hori explained the providential significance of the special holy star bestowed by True Mother and urged all leaders and members to unite with True Parents for the restoration of Nepal. The members resolved to do their utmost to achieve victory for Vision 2025 and Vision 2027 during the time. The Interreligious Association for Peace and Development in Nepal held an interface council meeting on the theme, the role of religion in creating good family, social harmony and peace. Eknath Takal, chairman of UPF Asia Pacific, emphasized the need for interfaith cooperation for sustainable peace and regional president Hori spoke on preserving families' values. Subsequently, representatives of various religions discussed how their belief could contribute to social improvement and the prosperity of Nepal. To celebrate International Women's Day, UPF UK in Heavenly Europe and Middle East hosted a commemorative event centered around the United Nations Inspire Inclusion campaign. Renowned speakers participated, emphasizing the need for continuous effort to bridge gender gaps and promote inclusivity, urging all stakeholders to work towards a fairer and more just society. In Heavenly Albania, a weekend workshop themed Uniting with Heavenly Parents' Dream was held. This workshop saw the participation of 110 youth as a result of the witnessing activities conducted by Heavenly Top Gun youth missionaries and Chanigog missionaries from the United States. Despite language barriers, they attended lectures on character education and teamwork, passionately engaging in activities to foster camaraderie and experiencing the feelings of one human family on the Heavenly Parent. In Russia, under the leadership of Moon in Pyo, the Chan Shimon director, the Hyojong Chonbo tour continued through major cities from St. Petersburg in the west to Khabarovsk in the east. Throughout Russia, the events were filled with grace of the Holy Spirit. In 
In Bristol, UPF and IAPD organized at the headquarters of the Family Federation a meeting with Christian pastors. This was the 12th meeting in a series that started in August last year in line with True Mother's Providence for the Restoration of Christianity. They reflected on the importance of working together for common causes, recognizing that unity strengthened the joint ability to positively impact society. Coffee with Pastors creates opportunities to introduce them to the content of the Divine Principle through special workshops, thus leading them to recognize the value of true parents. At the end of the event, an autobiography of True Mother was distributed and presented to each person. In Heavenly Africa, Ghana, in celebration of the United Nations International Women's Day, women members visited the obstetric hospital and donated newborn essentials to 20 mothers. The mothers and nurses who received the newborn essentials expressed their gratitude for this warm act of giving, conveying the love of True Mother. The invisible heavenly parent reveals his love to the visible natural world. True Mother earnestly desires to see a world where all people serve Heavenly Parent and deeply feel His love. And she shows us the model of this world through the Hyojong Chonwon complex. It is therefore up to us to fully unite with True Mother to achieve the completion of the providence and the realization of Heavenly Parent's dream on earth. With these words, we conclude this edition of HTW News. Thank you for following us and may God bless you.